Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on exponential functions. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some quick situations and show you how to put it together as an exponential function. Challenge, this is always my challenge. I don't always say it, but the challenge is, is once you figure out what's going on, pause the video, do the problems yourself, see if you can get it before I do. All right. Um, an exponential function is a function in the form of f of x equals c a x, where c is your initial value and a is your factor, what you multiply by to move forward. Now, because we're doing population instead of f of x, I'm going to do p of t, population over time. So let's write an exponential model for the population that started with 212 animals and is growing at an annual rate of 5.5% per year. First thing I want to do is I want to take that 5.5%, percent literally means per 100, cent is our prefix for century, 100 years, cents, number of pennies in a dollar. So per cent is literally per cent, per 100. This is 0 0.055. So population over time, the initial is 212, and it's growing, which means we add 1 plus 0 0.055 to the t. The 1 is because 1 is 100% of the population, and it's growing by 5.5%. So we use 1 because we're adding the new percent to the original 100. So whenever you have these percent problems with growth or decay, you'll always see it starting with a 1, which is 100%, and you either grow, add to it, or decay, subtract from it. So that's our basics. Write an exponential model for a population that starts with 27 animals and is growing at 83% per year. So 83% is 0 0.83. So population over time, we start with 27 and we are growing at 83%. And then we put the exponent because we're multiplying to move forward. Um, write an exponential model for the population that started with 1,225 animals and is shrinking. Shrinking means decay and we're subtracting. So we have our 0 0.6 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.006. So population over time, we start with 1,225 animals. Decay, shrinking, is minus 0 0.006 to the t. Now, a few questions I commonly get. The first is, could I rewrite this as instead p of t equals 27 times 1.83 to the t? And the answer is, of course, you can do this addition or subtraction. Leaving, in, leaving it in this form, I think it's really easy to track what's going on, growth, 83%. Likewise, down here, we could have rewritten this as um, p of t equals 1225 times 0 0.994 to the t. Um, in this case, it's easy to pick out a growth of 83%. In this case, it's not as easy to pick out a decay of 0.6%, but it's not too hard. I have videos discussing how to get from here, how to get from here to the percent, which you are more than welcome to watch. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.